Hello everyone, this is Polumi Dash and welcome back to English Literature with Polumi. The topic that I am going to cover in this video is a very important topic that is Renaissance. But first let me mention that it is one of the requested videos that I have gotten through my uh, social media handles and my comment section. You may think I have already made a video on the Elizabethan age where I have talked about the English Renaissance. But then let me tell you that what we have learned in that video is only a glimpse of it. Renaissance and Elizabethan age are not at all the same thing. Renaissance in itself is vast. And so in this video, I am going to give you all the relevant details about this extremely important historical event that has changed the whole face of Europe. In this video, we are going to discuss about the origin of Renaissance, how it reached England and what were the impact of it in the world history. But before so, do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time I post a video. So without further ado, let's just jump to today's topic. To know about Renaissance, we have to go back in time during the 5th century where there happened a decline and the fall of the Roman Empire in Europe. After the fall of the Roman Empire, Europe went into a dark phase. There were war, death, famine like the bubonic plague or the Black Death that killed almost one third of the whole population of England. And also it was during this very time that the church, nobility, pope, they all rose high up in power in the society and everything was controlled by them. In a way, humanity was lost. This dark age lasted from 5th century till the 14th century in England and during this very time, no new literature were written. After the fall of the Roman Empire, it was thought that the ancient manuscripts of the Greek and the Roman literature were also lost. But it was not at all so. These manuscripts were preserved by some Byzantine Greek monks in Constantinople. These manuscripts remained in Constantinople for a long time till in the 1453 the Ottoman Empire attacked Constantinople and in the battle Constantinople was defeated. The Byzantine Greek monks therefore escaped to Italy from Constantinople and they carried with themselves the legacy of the Roman and Greek literature that are the manuscripts. It was a wise decision of the monks to escape to Italy because by that time Italy was the industrial hub of the Europe and the influence of the church, the Pope was lesser in Italy. Also there were many wealthy families in Italy who wanted to invest their wealth in the culture of art beauty and literature. When these manuscripts reached Italy, the influential and the wealthy families immediately grabbed the chance and they started collecting the ancient Greek and Roman text to explore and study. It all started in the city of Florence in Italy and that is how it started that we know of today as the Renaissance. Then from the Florence, the phenomena was spread to all of the other cities of the country and that is how Renaissance was spread to Italy. Renaissance is a French word that means rebirth. Renaissance means the rebirth of knowledge. Again, some scholars believe that the word Renaissance means rebirth of ancient studies of Greek and Roman literature. After the wealthy and influential families of the Italy took possession of these manuscripts, they gave them to some scholars of Italy like Dante and Petrarch to study and culture the manuscripts. It is remarkable to note that Dante is often called the forefather of Renaissance. Again, when Petrarch started studying the manuscripts, he came across an idea that was believed by the Greeks and the Romans and it is called humanism. Remember this term guys, it is a very important word associated with Renaissance. The ancient Greeks and the Romans advocated that everything is for the sake of human 
and human is the center of the universe. It is absolute opposite to the ideology that was currently practiced in all over Europe in which it has been advocated that church or religion and pope is the center of the universe and everything should be controlled by them. Also, during the Italian Renaissance, there was a flourishment in art. Some famous Italian painters of that time were Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Michelangelo. We all have heard of these names at some point of our time. Again, T.S. Eliot has mentioned the name Michelangelo in his poem Love Song of the J. Alfred Prufrock. This one should be noted because it is one of the important questions often asked in net exams. The Italian Renaissance lasted during the 14th and the 15th century in Italy and then from Italy it was travelled to all other European countries like France and Germany and then finally during the 16th century it reached England. By the time it reached England, England was under the rule of the Tudor dynasty. Even though the Renaissance had reached England during the first phase of the Tudor dynasty, it was only during the reign of the Queen Elizabeth I that the Renaissance got flourished. One very important historical incident that speed up the spread of the Renaissance in England during the rule of the Queen was the fall of the Spanish Armada in the year 1558. Spanish Armada is a troop of 33 battleships sent by the Spanish King Philip II to defeat England. But in the battle, England defeated Spain and came out as the most powerful nation of the world with a very powerful navy power. After the Battle of the Spanish Armada, peace were restored in England. And so literature had a chance to flourish and that flourishment was boundless. This age in English history is often called the golden age of literature. During this time, we can find some eminent names like Sidney, Spencer, Marlowe, Shakespeare, Ben Jonson, Bacon and many others. It was also during the Renaissance that many more discoveries were made. During this time, printing press were invented and many, many books were printed for the common public to read. So in a way, education and reading were encouraged. Science had also got a major progress with the inventions of Copernicus. Also, it was during the Renaissance that England, with now the new naval power, went to discover new lands using the sea route. They reached some unknown lands like India, China, etc. And so, from this time onwards, the British period of colonization started. That's it for today. In today's video, we learn about the origin of Renaissance and how it reached Italy and from there it was spread all over Europe. We also learn about the effects of Renaissance in the English history and also about the innovations and discoveries that the country underwent during the Renaissance period. Hope you liked today's video and it will prove helpful to you. If you have any doubts, queries or suggestions for me about this video or any of the video of mine, you can tell me in the comment section below. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and share the video with all your friends and do subscribe to the channel. I post video every Monday and Friday. So I'll see you on the next video with such other important topics. Till then, stay healthy and stay safe.